Hello, here is a video showing our tow behind leaf catcher and how it's built. First, here is some footage that shows it in action. After that, I'll show you a breakdown on how we built it. Nice. <laughs> well, the video speaks for itself, and you can see that it really packs the leaves in. We don't have to stop as many times, and it packs better than our double bagger for the mower. 
Here are some pictures showing how it was put together. Basically the same as all the other ones you see online, but specific to our mower. The hose connecting the mower deck to the leaf catcher is just a 7 inch flexible hose that I bought from Grizzly. It's just wire reinforced vacuum hose for dust collectors. The piece I bought was 10 foot long, but I cut about 3 foot off of it. If it was too long, it would sag down and get clogged up. We had the dump cart already, so I just used some old 3 foot garden fence posts to hold the walls in place. Three on each side wall and two on the front wall. I drilled two holes through the post and the cart and attached with quarter 20 hardware. The post stuck up about two and a half foot above the cart, so I used leftover pieces of OSB sheathing that I cut to fit and used nuts and bolts to hold them in place. I put three 2x4s between the top of the side walls to firm up the walls and to also give me a place to screw the wood top on and also a piece of wire screen to allow air to escape from inside the catcher. I held the hose in place with just a piece of wood and two screws going into the top front 2x4. On our first trial run, we just put the hose into the cutout in the wall, but it let a lot of dust escape and blew right where we were sitting, so we put a piece of landscape fabric around it to seal it up. Here you can see the wire screen just above the hose. You need to let the air escape so you get the best leaf capacity and the location is important as well because it will let the catcher fill up to the max before getting clogged up. This next picture is showing the fabric we put over the screen and around the hose. We didn't do this at first but it let a lot of dust blow around where you sit and this took care of that. We didn't staple the screen down where it shoots out the back of the cart so the air still escapes and the dust blows behind us now. Here is a picture of the flex hose and reducer that connects it to the mower chute. On our Craftsman mower, they use what is similar to a rubber hood latch to connect the chutes together. The reducer pipe goes from 7 inches down to 6 inches and we got that from Home Depot in the heating and air conditioning section. We put a nut and bolt through the reducer pipe and put an acorn nut on the end of the threads. Our rubber latch isn't long enough to reach so we used an S hook from a rubber bungee cord and it works perfectly. The flex hose is held onto the reducer with just a hose clamp. This is the rear door and we just bolted two strap hinges through the rear 2x4 and then bolted the door onto that. To hold it closed, we just use a bunch of cord hook to eye bolts on each side. It works great as you can see and makes picking up leaves much faster. The back of the cart is still in place here, so the leaves are all the way to the bottom of the cart. Each full load fills about nine paper lawn bags depending on if the leaves are wet or dry and how heavy you want your bags to be. If I need to use the cart for hauling, I can easily take out the nuts and bolts and lift the leaf catcher off the cart and sit it on the ground. Thanks for watching and I hope this helps you in making your own leaf catcher.